I want to take a minute and show you that all these kinematics are real. The electrons and the protons really do have mass. They really do get velocity and have momentum. I'm going to show you with this little thing. It's the electrostatic windmill. It's a little electrostatic demo where you cut a piece of aluminum in this shape, very important, and you put it on a nail where it just barely balances like that. So now it can rotate very easily. Then we're going to use the Wimshurst machine to charge it up. Okay, so first though, we're going to hook up to this electrode. Let's confirm the charge on that electrode. So here we have our negatively charged Teflon tape, and the Teflon tape, whoa, does not want to touch that electrode, and it's happy to touch that electrode. So yeah, so we're hooking to the uh, negatively charged electrode. All right. Let's see. So all we got to do is think about what's going to happen when we have this thing negatively charged. So let's look at it. It's this special shape, and it has these sharp tips. We haven't really talked about it yet, but if we put charge on this metal, it'll really accumulate strongly at a sharp edge. You'll get a lot of charge buildup at a corner, like that. That's what the sharp tips are for. You get a big accumulation of charge, you get a very strong electric field. So in the air, near this highly charged object, you can have a gas molecule that is neutral, but can suddenly become ionized. Maybe it gets by, get hit by a cosmic ray, maybe the large field just rips it in half. But suddenly, this gas molecule becomes positive, and it has an electron that was now free. This electron will see all these electrons, and it'll fly away. The force will push that one away, and it will bring that one closer. But this electron gets so much kinetic energy from being near these, it speeds up so fast, it can actually ionize another neutral gas molecule. So say there's a neutral molecule sitting here, it might knock an electron off of it, and therefore leave it positive. This electron will fly away, this gas molecule will move towards the tip. So this is, if this is stable, it's the corona discharge that we talked about before. At the other end, it's also happening down here. And the shape is important because in this corona, you get a little bit of momentum transfer. Some of the gas uh, ions and, and, uh, and electrons are moving effectively one way, and it kind of pushes this thing this way. And this one also gets kind of pushed this way. So the momentum changes in the corona import some momentum change to the little uh, windmill. So if I go ahead and hook it up, and I think this is discharged, but I'm not sure, I'll hook up here. And I'll put one on the nail down here. And we spin it and see what happens. That's moving a little bit. Let me speed it up. Whoa. So there you can see. That's a macroscopic amount of momentum that we're getting because it's spraying little corona gases all around in a circle. Okay. Definitely real. And to show it even better, I can show you the little corona. So we're about to put up an image that I took in the dark, and I held it still, of the tip. And if you look right there on the tip of the, of the metal, you can see a little, little purple plume coming off. That's the actual corona, and you can see it really does form right on the tip. And that's what's imparting momentum to the, to the windmill.